What's going on everybody? Cody does it. Back at it again with another video. Today I'm going to show you the damage to my car from Monday night. This past Monday. It's a cool ass trailer a buddy of mine got for his uh, bike rallies and stuff out at the uh, cool place called Sparks of Oklahoma. Cool ass trailer. Big ass trailer. Got plenty of room. He's going to custom build it as a toy hauler slash camper. And it's fresh off the lot. Can't really see. See if I can turn the light on for you guys. I don't know where my light's at. But yeah, it's a it's a pretty good size toy hauler. Pretty good size camper. It's got the Vinos, everything on it. Let's get down to business. Double axle too. Cool little truck. So it's been another day at the shop. Drove my car out here. Made sure it had coolant in it. It's been holding coolant, thankfully. One of the hoses got popped off whenever I hit the Bobcat. But uh, I got it up in the air right now. Another day, that's what happens, it's karma. As you can see, it tore up the whole entire washer reservoir. The coolant reservoir is cracked. Let me grab my flashlight real quick, I'm gonna pause it. And on these, the coolant reservoir is actually built into the fan shroud. I found the fan or the uh, coolant reservoir by itself. It looks like it is serviceable from this fan shroud. I don't know what my insurance company is going to do. It did rip the whole little undercover, which is plastic anyways. It doesn't, doesn't really matter. It doesn't do anything, obviously, because it's gone. Um, fog light wiring. The or no, sorry, that's for my horn. The horn's trash. You can see the fog light wiring there. It's still decent. The wiring for the level sensor slash the pump. You got your rear and your front, front and rear, whatever, whichever way, whatever configuration. The whole entire front side of the grill and everything's cracked off. Um, so we're gonna end up getting a new bumper. I'm gonna have to get a whole new core support for it. You can see it's peeled away there, it's cracked off, and you can tell that it's Obviously, if all this stuff's out of the way, you can see it's obviously bent backwards. So we might have to hook a chain up to that or heat it up and hook a chain up to it. Maybe bend it with a pry bar. Tire and everything's okay. These are the ones I just put on a couple weeks ago. I made a video about that and it's a long ago. It's like $460 in tires. You can see my AC condenser. It looks okay. The AC still works, but you can see over time, over the 120 and a half thousand miles that have been put on this car, it's pretty chewed up. So, may end up replacing that eventually, depending on how much money I get. I did do my own claim. I took my own picture, so they're gonna they're gonna price everything for me, tell me how much the money they're gonna give me. Uh, fender liner got ripped out of it, obviously. Um, you can see all the way up there. You see the washer line and everything that runs up there. A few other lines and wiring connectors. Um, you can see some coolant and everything that's been dripped out. All the coolant obviously on the oil pan. This car just had this engine put in it 5,000 miles ago. Maybe 5,100 miles ago. Um, not really much more I can tell you guys about this. Unfortunately it happened but in my mind I mean I got insurance. Obviously the Bobcat doesn't. Hopefully the guy lived, but this type of damage at 80, 80 miles an hour on a turnpike, it's not going to help him much, or 75, whatever the, the speed limit is on the turnpike. Obviously, it's not going to help the guy much. I mean, it it tore up a bunch of stuff, unfortunately, but being that I do love this car, I will fix it. I'm hoping to be able to do the work myself. I'll use this very lift right here. I mean, this is a lift I work out of every day. You see my scooter, my, my other toolbox, and my other two behind me. Um, so it is one of those things that, you know, shit happens as people say. Thankfully it didn't ruin my headlight. Thankfully it didn't ruin any of my tires that I just put on the car. I do have those other two sitting over there on the shelf that I need to put on. The rear ones aren't that bad yet. Unfortunately on these cars it's like a straight beam system. To where the, the suspension is an independent. It's just one solid beam with the shocks and the uh, coils obviously. Um, don't mind that terrible weld. That was just to uh, take my, uh, what is it, cherry bomb, send it in. Thought that was blood at first, but it's on the other side too. It's obviously not there. So you can see more coolant. Hyundai coolant is green. So I got coolant everywhere. Car's holding coolant. Hopefully they'll put a radiator in it. 
it'd just be more money in my pocket. Everything seems to be straight and fine, but as far as that coolant reservoir, there's no telling. I'm not quite sure. I'd prefer OE parts if I can. Doesn't really tell me whether or not they're gonna do that. But at the end of the day, I'm happy my airbag didn't go off because that would have been a lot more pricey repair. I would have had to take it to Hyundai, do a lot of programming, all that other yada, yada, yada stuff. Does look like I need a belt here pretty soon. I put that belt on probably about 60, 70, maybe 80,000 miles ago. That's probably about 60. But yeah, unfortunately it happened. I have to get another fender liner on this side because there's a big hole. I went ahead and drilled a hole and put a zip tie in it. Hold it up for now so it's not rubbing into my tire anymore and it will will kind of keep the water and everything out here in oklahoma it's supposed to snow again on friday it was literally 80 degrees saturday so it is what it is um i'm lucky my ac lines didn't get didn't get rubbed to death because they are touching this lower portion of the core support i'm gonna zip tie them back maybe to like this bracket right here on the uh, ac compressor and like I said, we'll we'll try to bend that piece back. It's obviously pretty pretty kinked up. I don't know if you can see. Let's see if I can get the right yeah, I can get that angle for you. You can see right there where that metal is folded. I should have got a picture of that for my inspection, but I will be able to go back and add stuff back. Typically if you hook that to a chain and like a lift over here, say another vehicle or something like that, it will will help we'll pull it back i'm kind of particular about my stuff being correct but that's just me if you guys watch this video all the way through leave me a comment leave me a like show some love as always like i always say like comment subscribe and i will see you guys on the next video maybe the next video will be me repairing this car i do plan to put an oil cooler and other other items on this vehicle just to make it a little bit more reliable Take care of the engine, make sure it lasts me another 100,000 miles and doesn't blow up on me. But like I said, we'll be getting quite a few new parts on this vehicle and I do plan on filming it. So as always, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys on the next video. Thank you.